And trading is not bad or good, just like investing is not bad or good. There are good investors and there are bad investors. There are good traders and there are bad traders. The difference is time horizon, right? I mean, traders' time horizon is usually much shorter than an investor's. In fact, what's, what's the old adage? What's, what's an investment? A trade gone wrong. <laughs> so then you're an investor because you're committed. I think what's interesting is the things that make traders really good, things like discipline and focus and uh, concentration, in many ways are the antithesis of sound investing principles, but they can be part and parcel, right? I can have a trading strategy inside an investment piece of my portfolio, right? Within my equity bucket, I can have people who are long-term buyers of value equities, but I could also have momentum traders, or I could have people who, who want to take advantage of, of arbitrage, right? Tr you know, trading and arbitrage. So again, not good or bad, but very different. It's kind of like, uh, there's a famous hedge fund manager, Steve Mandel, recently retired from a firm called Lone Pine. Lone Pine spun out of, of Tiger Management. And you know, I've, I've had the greatest job in the world for you know, three decades. I got paid to talk to the, to, to go around the world and talk to the smartest people in the world about how to invest, right? I mean, I allocated capital to Nobel laureates, to superstar investment managers, to titans of industry, to the George Soros's, the Julian Robertson's, the Stan Druckenmillers, and Miller's, the, you know, all these amazing people. And, and usually in people are good analysts or good portfolio managers. And there's a big difference. An analyst is someone who's really good at the numbers, really good at the, at the micro level and the details. And portfolio managers are usually really bad at the analytical stuff, but they're really good at allocating capital and looking at trends and you know, intuiting the future. And it's, it really has to do a little bit with left brain, right brain. I was just going to say different sides of the brain being- Oh, no, no, 100%. That, right? in, in, in the best book ever written on this subject called the Dow Jones Averages, T-A-O, and it's, it's about ancient Chinese philosophy and investing. You can't get it in print. You got to buy it secondhand at Amazon. But uh, Bennett Goodspeed was this genius. He was a Buddhist and, and he, he merged this, this philosophy and it all came down to left brain, right brain. And part of the problem for most people, particularly guys and particularly guys who are investors, they're overly analytical. So they're constantly driving, looking in the rear view mirror. And when the road turns, they drive right off the cliff. Mm -hmm. And so there's an interesting perspective of being able to use your whole brain, the right-hand side of your brain, the left hand, left-handedness, the more intuitive, you know, in fact, it's called women's intuition for a reason, because uh, they tend to be a little more right-brained, a little more intuitive, and they actually will look out the, the windshield. And I think that is really what separates, and back to Steve, Steve was amazing because he was both an amazing analyst and an amazing portfolio manager. 